What's going on YouTube? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.3 on specific devices. As you probably know, iOS 14.3 was just released yesterday by Apple and it's already jailbreakable with the check rain. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a software that allows you to fix multiple iOS issues with your iPad, iPhone or iPod, fix iTunes issues, reset, upgrade, downgrade and so on. Check the program out in the link below. So as I said, iOS 14.3 was released yesterday by Apple and thus there is a new patch available so basically this is the security content but there doesn't seem to be anything major in here there doesn't seem to be any kernel vulnerability that was patched so this is pretty good news for those of you who cannot use check rain however my test shows that the iOS 14.3 and iPadOS 14.3 is supported by the check rain jailbreak so I'm going to show you how to jailbreak if you are new you have to head over to checkray.in link below and of course you have to go here to download for Mac OS. However, if you don't have Mac OS or you have a PC or Linux, you press here all downloads. Now, currently there is no Windows version available. There are some third party versions of the check rain that can run on Windows, but basically is to make a bootable Linux device on Windows. They're not native Windows programs. However, if you know how to run a dual boot of Linux, download the x86-64 from here and you will be able to run it on Linux and you don't have to get rid of Windows. You can just make a bootable flash drive with Linux, which of course boots and you have the program and you run it. And then when you reboot your computer, you're back to Windows. So you can do that. You don't have to replace your Windows, but there is no Windows version available right now. And we know nothing about when it will be available. They said, it will be available soon but they said that a year ago so yeah it's safe to say that it's not going to come anytime soon so as you can see here it says welcome to check rain when you open it it says that the supported versions are 12.0 to 14.2 and the device that i have connected is not supported sorry ipad mini 4 wi-fi is supported but ipad os 14.3 is not that's basically a lie you can go here to options and allow untested ios and then verbose boot here and if you have an iPhone 10, you may want to press here, skip A11 BPR, check. However, if you don't, for example, you have an iPhone 7 or lower, you don't need to do that. But I didn't test on the A11 devices. I don't know if it works on the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 for now. You can, however, do the test. Press start in here. It's going to say that you're about to run on a version that is not supported by default. Press OK because I did test if it works on the um, A9, A10 and stuff like that. And we're going to wait for it to be put in recovery mode. Once you're in recovery mode, which looks like this, you're going to have to follow closely the instructions here on the screen. Press start and of course, in my case, I have to press the top button and the home button at the same time, basically entering in DFU mode. If you don't know how to enter DFU mode, you can find tutorials on Google on how to do that. It's different from device to device because of the placement of the buttons. So if you did everything right, you should see this. It says booting. Your device should show the check rain logo and a lot of text. And once that is done, your device should boot properly. So yeah, as you can see, it says all done here. We can press done, cancel the application, and we can go to the device and continue the jailbreak procedure. So I'm here on the device. I have the check rain application in here. Cydia is not installed by default when you jailbreak for the first time, but I skipped the boring installation part. However, to install it, you press check rain here. And of course you have Cydia. You press on Cydia and here you would have to install it. In my case, it's already installed. It takes like a couple of minutes. So once you install it, it will exit the application and you will have Cydia on your screen and this is the first time I run Cydia so as you can see it loads pretty fine we wait for it to give us the information about updates but as you can see on the bottom it says that it's iOS 14.3 so this is the latest iOS version jailbroken but this doesn't work on A12 or A13 or A14 devices. So no iPhone 12, no iPhone 11, and no iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR. Here I'm gonna say upgrade essential and press continue in there. And as you can see, it works pretty fine. It asked me to restart Springboard, which I'm not going to do. Anyways, that's how you jailbreak. I'm going to prove actually that I do run iOS 14.3 by going here to software update. I'm going to wait for it to complete. And as you can see, it says iPadOS 14.3 your software is up to date. So yeah, you can jailbreak with no problem. Cydia does get installed with the check rain. However, check rain doesn't support anything after iPhone 10. And of course, newer iPads with the A12 chip or newer are not supported either. So that's basically it. But yeah, it does work. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.